Okay, so hello there everyone. So again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario and we are now on the second part of our topic or the lesson 2 in grade 10 learners module which is all about geometric sequence. Okay, so yung lesson 2 uh, na geometric sequence and, and part 2 of the geometric sequence is all about the end term of the geometric sequence. Okay, so kung yung arithmetic sequence eh meron siyang end term Yung ating geometric sequence also has this what we call n term. So that will be our topic for today. So in order for you to easily understand the n term of geometric sequence, I have here five examples to answer. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed sa example, i-discuss muna natin yung pinaka n term ng geometric sequence. So, the n term of geometric sequence is in a form of a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Wherein, yung a sub n natin could be any term of the sequence. Kung ano yung hinahanap, kung ano yung hinihingi. Okay? So, if we are looking for the fifth term, we are going to write a sub 5. If we are looking for the tenth term, we are going to write a sub 10. And then a sub 1 is simply the first term. And r is the common ratio. And ito yung position ng term position of term that we are looking for. Kung yung bang a sub 5 yon, so yung value ng n natin ay 5. Kung a sub 10 naman yon, so yung value ng ating n ay 10 minus 1. Okay, so in order for you to easily understand, meron ako dito iba't ibang example ng um, geometric sequence gamit pagkuha ng uh, terms ng geometric sequence gamit yung ating n term. For example, number 1. Let's say for example, we have the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So our goal first is to, uh, our task is to find the value of the 10th term. Okay, ibig sabihin, we are looking for a sub 10. Ang una natin gagawin, we have to identify the values of the variables. Okay, meaning a sub 10 is missing. So, that is our a sub n. a sub 1 is 1 since this is the first term of the sequence. And our common ratio is 2 divided by 1 is 2. Or any term na magkasunod. Okay? Sorry, this is... Uh, this is uh, 18. This is 8, not 18. Okay. Next, kapag na-identify na natin siya, we are going to substitute all the values to the nth term of the geometric sequence or the formula. So, we have a sub n equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Or simply, kung ano yung n mo, mag minus 1 ka lang dun sa exponent niya, ni r. Okay, so we have a sub 10 equals, yung a sub 1 natin ay 1, yung ating common ratio ay 2 raised to 10 minus 1, which is equal to 1 times 2 raised to 9, or equal to 1 times 2 raised to 9 is 512. And 1 times 512 is 512. So that is our answer. Next example, we have the sequence 1, 5, 25. Okay, so the more na lumalaki yung common ratio natin, the more na uh, lumalaki yung value nung term, nung ating, nung ating, yung ating 10th term. Okay, so ang hinahanap pa din natin dito ay yung 
10th term. Okay. Lalo na kapag whole number siya, so expected na na mas malaki yung yung value nung terms na inahanap natin. Kasi nga, multiply natin yung common ratio. Okay. So, we have the sequence 1, 5, and 25. So, what our task is to find the 10th term again. Okay, so, our a sub 10 is still missing. a sub 1 is 5. And our common ratio is 5. Since 5, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 5 divided by 1 is 5. Okay, so using the formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub 10 is equal to, a sub 1 is 1, the common ratio is 5 raised to 10 minus 1. And a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 5 raised to 9. And 5 raised to 9 is, okay, so let's, Ito yung continuation. So, a sub 10 equals 1 times 5 raised to 9. And a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 5 raised to 9 is, you may use your calculator. Uh, ibig sabihin lang yan ay 5 times 5 times 5. Siyam na 5 na multiply So, we have 1,953,100. 25. And 1 times 1,953,125 1, is 1,953,125 1, So this is our answer. Example number 3, we have the sequence 3, 6, 12. Okay, so our, our task is to find for the sum of, uh, for the value of the 10th term 10th ten, ten term pa din okay so let's first identify the variables so a sub 10 is missing a sub 1 is 3 and the common ratio is 6 12 divided by 6 is 2 so we have 2 using the formula a sub 10 equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 a sub 10 equals a sub 1 is 3 and the common ratio is 2 raised to minus na lang tayo ng isa kay 10 so we have 9 and a sub 10 is equal to 3 and 2 raised to 9 is 512 and which is equal to 3 times 512 is 1536 so, our a sub 10 or the 10th term is 5, 1,536. Next, we have example number 4. And example number 4, we have the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27. And our goal is to look for the 10th term. Okay. So, a sub 10 is still missing. a sub 1 is 1. And our common ratio is 3, since 27 divided by 9 is 3. So using the formula, a sub 10 equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. a sub 10 is equal to, a sub 1 is 1, the common ratio is 3 raised to 10 minus 1. So a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 3 raised to 9. Okay which is equal to 1 times 3 raised to 9 is 19,800. Sorry. We have 19,683. Okay, so our answer is 19,683. Okay, for the last example, we have the sequence 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, etc. Okay, so, meron tayo ditong fraction. So, do not be deceived. Pwede nyo alisin muna si uh, numerator na 1 and evaluate nyo na lang si denominator since 1 lang naman yung, yung kanyang numerator.
Okay, that means yung ating 10th term, meron lang din siyang numerator na 1. So, pwedeng huwag nyo munang pansinin si 1. Mag-focus na lang tayo kay denominator. Okay? So, we are looking for a sub 10. So, a sub 1 is 1 half. So, gagamitin ko, gagamitin ko muna yung denominator na 2. Tsaka na lang ako mag add ng 1 sa ibabaw. And our common ratio is 2 as well. Okay. So, a sub 10 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. a sub 10 is equal to 2 times 2 raised to 9 since 10 minus 1 is 9. And a sub 10 is equal to 2 times 512. And a sub 10 is equal to 1024. Yun na ba yung sagot natin? Hindi pa. So, we still need to uh, to include 1 as our numerator. So, our a sub 10 is equal to 1 over 1,024. So, that is our 10th term. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something on our discussion. Do not forget to like this video and comment. On this video, if you still have any question, and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you for watching.